Oh man, guys, I'm doing vans now with trailers. Oh, let me explain I'm my little issue right now. Thursday, look at Thursday. Ain't even Thursday, I'm rocking her mix. So, thank God I actually got to it, but a uh, customer was complaining uh, about his car overheating. And um, it took me a while to find out the leak. I thought it was a thermostat. And right behind the thermostat is a, is a valve. Let's see if I can move it and show you guys. But right here on the bottom is that valve. But this hose is connected. Horrible hose. Um, the clamps are reversed opposite way so it's kind of like real hard to get to what i did was i pulled it out now i have the flexibility of getting the top off and we're gonna put a brand new hose and new clamps i'm not even using these factory clamps here's the ones the screw on ones make it that much easier um but yeah man uh, what is this uh chevy express oh so you have to take out the seat in order to take out the cover you have to take out one seat um very disgusting van, but it's a work van, so it's so a four four bolts, uh, 18 millimeter bolts. I can pull out the cover and I can see everything. Um, I don't know why they make it like this. Like, why these don't make it bigger so you won't have to just like get hurt and things like that? I don't know, man. This is very complicated, but yeah, you gotta. Uh, what is this? This is uh, this is your ignition, ignition switch right here. You gotta unplug that and then uh you can reach to that wire. You can hear how I'm breathing, y'all. It's not not an easy job, but I'm glad I found it. I got to it. I got the bottom hose off first and now we should be smooth sailing. I'm I'm gonna get an extra uh, longer hose so it's not as uh complicated to push in and um gonna go from there. Very complicated to get to the clamps, man. I don't know why would they even do it like this. My goal is to try to spin it so I can see it. And then go from there. The good thing is this, this hose is garbage. This is a, a bypass hose back into the heating coil and then back out. I don't know. Sometimes these designs don't make any sense, guys. It's just so disappointing. But they prefer to have their customer work this hard just for a dollar. Why not just make a vehicle that lasts and that's it? If it lasts, the customer's gonna come and buy the next one from you. If it don't, you just lost that customer forever. It's like a scammer. Scam me once, fool on me, um, shame on me. What is it, what is it, what is it? Fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice. No, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So, you get got the first time. I go back. Look, look. Come on, baby. One little pin. Look. Why is this all? I don't know why this is like this. But that's what happens. It's not. You never did the work the last time. Wow. You. The biggest problem is you don't want to um, break any any aluminum lines. So that's really why I'm taking my time. I don't really care. 
I got the hard part out. Well, this seems to be the hard part now, but I think I got the hard part out. And all that work, y'all. All that work for this bad boy right here. It was, it was like welded shut. So I had to cut it. But uh, the leak was coming from right there, you see. And there was double pressure. So uh, I'm going to get that changed. Uh, put it up nice and tight. New clamps. Throw uh, some silicone on each side. So no air gaps and uh I'm gonna get this, this truck done, this uh, van done real quick. Let me get out of here, I'll be back. Yeah, I'm actually kinda exhausted on this one. My hands started cramping up. Um uh this truck is my cousin's truck, you know, so I'm doing the favor. Chevy Express kinda kinda beat up, but gets the job done. Um got the little trailer in the back too, I don't gotta see it. Anyways, uh, this this little ass hose causes this whole car to malfunction. So uh, I'm gonna get a new one, like I said, with some new clamps. I'm not dealing with those old factory clamps. Um, yeah, it's all rusted inside there. So that's the problem, right? They put aluminum with rubber and then rubber into probably metal, maybe aluminum again. But the the aluminum that's on the on the car is actually hot as opposed to the other the other cooler coolers that are not that hot um yeah this is a tough one i did this on the impalas before too and what i always recommended was to uh to change change all your hoses as much as you can so this doesn't happen uh realistically realistically that's not realistic you know sometimes like hoses like this why would you change it why would you go all the way to the middle of the engine to change it for no reason uh you know but whatever all right guys so very 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 much of a bitch i ain't gonna lie man let me see the new holes right there with the yellow clamps it's hard to see yellow clamps it's the manual clamps hopefully that did the job and uh, we won't have to repeat this job again but a good thing is is that the job is done so thanks for watching on that one. Um, it was a little bit of a, a little complicated. I, did, uh, I went to Advanced Auto, they didn't have any hoses. And then I went to uh, Pet Boys and they had hoses, but they didn't have clamps. <laughs> um, ironically, this happened in, in both stores. Um, nonetheless, I got them. I got both of them. Um, we just fixed the problem. I'm about to start it up, fill it up with coolant. And um, hopefully there's no leak. That's that's just the risk we're gonna take right now. Um, it looks pretty good, but you never know. You know, hands are dirty. I cut myself. You never know what happens. Most of the time, the hose is a clamp, but you might need an extra turn. It might have a little, a little bit of a leak, a little drop. We don't, we're not sure. I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen, but we won't know until uh, we drive the car. It's getting kind of dark, so I'm just gonna set this up, let it warm, let it idle, and um, see what's going on there. But again, thanks for watching. You know. Uh, do it yourself. Yeah, we're on 60 second drive right here in Mass Fifth Queens, uh, Middle Village Queens, actually, Jupiter Jupiter Boulevard. Um, yeah, 60 second drive and shit. But um, again, thanks for watching. Take care, y'all. Appreciate it. You know, just want, I like to show engines, man. So let's just see how it. That's simple. I definitely cleared the check engine like the other day, but oh, we're gonna see what's up, how they warm up. And then, you always uh, cap off that radiator, look, it drained it in already, so it's gonna. See, that's roughly what it took. And um, let it let it warm up. Let any bubbles come out that don't need to be. And uh, check on the leak on the other end. Now I know this doesn't. 
Oh. Now look. Instant leak, y'all. Instant leak. Okay, and then good news. A couple of more turns and the leak stopped. So all this smoke is just because of the original the original fluid that touched it plus all this uh all this extra gunk but what I'm seeing right now it looks very good. I'm gonna have to keep on uh keeping an eye on it maybe today and tomorrow. Like I said the reason why I'm rushing is because it's getting dark. It's getting dark. So this looks very good. Um yeah, let's see. All right, y'all, so 20, 30 minutes later, it's still here. There is no leak. We are good to go. We're good to go, guys. Cooling bypass hose, one of the cooling bypasses hose on the Chevy Express. Done, man, done. So, now officially, thanks for watching, y'all. Take care.